Toys for Tots. Toys for Tots. The joy of living. 740 right yeah, now. Jumble of Christmas right there. <laughs> It's a Christmas mask in some mess in somebody's cubicle. Uh, volunteers will soon be hard at work sorting toys for tots and sorting tens of thousands of toys for tots. It's a huge effort, and the Marine Corps Reserve does still need more toys for children this season. And Fox Sports' Shannon Murray is live in Carrollton. Good morning, Shannon. Good morning, Jenny. We are inside the Toys for Tots warehouse right now. It's quite a process in here. So you can see some of the Marines right now sorting and organizing the toys by boys and girls and the different age groups. They still need donations. They're still taking donations. We're here right now with Staff Sergeant Lisa Diaz. What can you tell us about what you guys still need and what age groups you need the most? Right now, uh, we've received a good portion of toys for age groups zero to about uh, six years old boys and girls where we're kind of in need of help is boys six to eight and then boys and girls nine to twelve and that might be a tough age group for some people to think okay what do I get someone that age what do you recommend uh, so for the older age group nine and twelve girls um, some bracelets or some lip gloss or uh, makeup kits, uh, right. fingernail kit tips and stuff like that because right. they're kind of more into that. And then the boys, boys or girls actually, the um, the drone little um, uh, drones, flyers, yeah. race cars, yeah. RC cars and stuff like that, that kind of hits that, the, that older age group. And I like how you mentioned earlier to me, you know, arts and crafts are always a good Absolutely. option, board games, things like that that sort of all ages can use and the older kids will enjoy as well. Talk to us about where all these toys go and some of the organizations you guys work with. We have about 150 uh, agencies that distribute the toys directly to the families. Uh, so we cover the whole Metroplex. We can't do individual families ourselves. So we right. rely heavily on those agencies. Um, they use a process uh, to make sure those kids are the right kids to get these toys. Right. Um, once they get those toys, uh, they, they give them out to the kids, they wrap them, they do different ways. Uh, right. And we can see where all that happens here. Everything is divided and sorted and packed up and ready to go. And last year, 200,000 kids received toys from Toys for Tots. So uh, there's such a need here, and, and we always tell people, you can donate toys, you can donate your time and volunteer, um, and you say just go to the website, all that information is there, correct? Absolutely. You guys have all that there. All right, Absolutely. awesome. Thank you so much for joining us here this morning. And they'll be out tonight. There's another drive tonight and all throughout the week. Fox 4 will be there. We love partnering with the Marine Corps Reserves to do Toys for Tots every year. So head over to fox4news.com if you want to donate toys or if you'd like to volunteer and help in the warehouse. There's options for that as well. And you can also donate money if, if you'd rather do that. That helps them sort of fill in the gaps. So when there are those age groups that they still need toys for, they can go out and get those before Christmas when they do the deliveries. Reporting live in Carrollton, Shannon Murray on Good Day. Thanks, Shannon. So Shannon mentioned our sponsorship of Toys for Tots, which Fox 4 is very proud of. We are helping the Marine Corps Reserve collect toys all week. So here's the rundown. Tonight you will find us at Mansfield Center for the Performing Arts. Tomorrow we'll be in Allen and Friday in Frisco. And yes, our own Tim Ryan will be out there one of those days. So maybe you'll get to come over, give a toy, and give tomorrow, a high five. Tomorrow at the tomorrow. Allen Event Center. Oh, tomorrow in Allen. It's going to be chilly. Early. <laughs> i got to go to bed. More information on our website. Oh, wait. So you're doing, yeah, how late are you staying out there? Be there like till 6, between 5 and 6. So you're, that's going to be Depending a late night on how by cold the time you is. get home. I, I wimp out. I wimp out really easily, though, because I don't like cold. <laughs> that's why you're a studio man. I'll just leave those high-paid <laughs> nighttime anchors out there. <laughs>